You want to talk about next level political pandering? Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. We have to stay awake. We have a march to finish. On this Lord's Day, let us say with one voice the words of James Cleveland's great freedom hymn. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. No, even worse than that, Joe Biden just visited North Carolina and uh, had the bright idea, someone in his administration, who knows who's running this show, said, you know what? I've got an idea. Let's put Joe with a black family and get some fried chicken. Now look, the whole world loves fried chicken, right? There's a fried chicken recipe in every corner of the world. My favorite Chinese restaurant, they have a version. I've had a Lithuanian version, a Mexican version, but we all know that in America, black people are hit with the fried chicken stereotype. Now, Colonel Sanders, what I know about him, he didn't put together those 11 herbs and spices for us, all right? So I'm just saying. So Joe Biden decided Someone in his administration, because we know Joe is not running anything except to the bathroom. Somebody in his administration decided it would be a good idea. They sat down and said, hey, what can we do? We need to be more engaging. What can we possibly do? We're losing the black vote. How can we reverse this? I know. Let's get Joe to sit down and have fried chicken with a black family. So he goes down. And instead of talking about substantive economic issues that are actually affecting not just the black community, but you know, when America gets a cold economically, the black constituency gets a flu. You know, they get the flu. We get the flu. So this is what we're dealing with right now. And we see that Joe Biden is more concerned with these crazy cringeworthy optics. Let's check out some of these clips. You let me know what you think. Well, I mean, you got chicken fingers, you got, you got the whole deal. <laughs> I, I want the root of making sure I had the hamburger. You see that? Oh, you guys got the chicken. Yeah. Oh, well, I made sure I got the hamburger. So tell me about you guys. What you doing these days? Why don't you share about your passion of sports? I'm playing AAU basketball right now. Are you really? Are you guard? Yes, sir. Now, what grade are you in? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Right now I'm just doing basketball, playing guard on the JV team for my school. How right, about the school? How are y'all doing in school? You should tell the president about the school. Favorite thing about it is the business academy I'm in. You get to like travel, so we've been- Did you see that little business academy? You, you're studying business? I'm, what about the basketball? You know, like NC State, uh, Wake Tech, and then- You're we, kidding me. Yeah, we went to this small dry cleaning business. And it's just, it's cool, it's a great experience. Well, I'm impressed. Is that a new program in the school? Yes, sir, it is. It just started. I'm impressed. Is that a new program? They're letting you guys do that kind of stuff these days? And to think, I didn't want my son going to a racial jungle. Remember that when he tried to resegregate the school system? Just a couple of years ago. You know how much this guy loves you. Yeah. You just feel it, can't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Your dad jumped in front of a bull for you. What? Jump in front of a bullet? What are you insinuating there, Joe? By the way, we dads are hard to raise. Once you're a teenager, we're hard to raise. So you gotta be patient with us, you know what I mean? I see. Go <laughs> patient. Look, Joe Biden is trying hard to win back a lot of the black support that he's lost. Notice in that campaign ad, there were three black males because Biden is struggling with black males. Now, I don't know if the young men, I don't think they're eligible to vote, but they're trying to go for the optic of, look, look, black black guys support us. Okay, two of those guys can't vote. Uh, and maybe that father was just like, hey, the president's coming over. I'll be uh, respectful and 
kind to him and we'll sit down and you never know what they talked about that was edited out also, right? And I have uh, suggested that maybe because they went to this spot called The Cookout, which is apparently a uh, renowned uh, eatery in the North Carolina area. And um, why not talk to the owner? See how the owners of The Cookout are doing with food inflation. Remember, Joe Biden is trying to blame inflation now on companies. He's starting with the grocery stores and saying, oh, well, it's their fault that they're doing this. They, they, they're just greedy, when in fact, they're just responding to inflation across the board. So he did that Super Bowl ad, that silly Super Bowl ad. If you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips has fewer chips, but they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cartons have actually shrunk in size, but not in price. I've had enough of what they call shrinkflation. It's a ripoff. Some companies are trying to pull a fast one by shrinking the products little by little and hoping you won't notice. Give me a break. The American public is tired of being played for suckers. I'm calling on companies to put a stop to this. Let's make sure businesses do the right thing now. All right, he doesn't understand that one way or the other you're going to pay. So if the ingredients become more expensive, you are going to either have to pay more or you're going to get less. All right. Potato chips, it's like a bag of air now. All right. I don't even really buy potato chips anymore because they're just so expensive. So I've made a choice, right? But Biden does not understand simple macroeconomics. And part of the reason that he doesn't is because he has been on the public teat for longer than I've been alive. The man has never had a real job in his adult life. Okay. He's, he's, he's been a, he's been a government assistance recipient, gets a government check. So he doesn't understand the real world at all. That's why he wasn't able to sit down with his family and talk about anything that mattered, okay? They took the best parts of that and that's what you just saw. So even if that dad said, hey, Joe, I'm finding it very difficult to make ends meet. Everything's more expensive now than it was. And as you see, I have two growing boys here. Uh, what you planning on doing about all this spending? I mean, you're, spend, you're, you're sending a lot of money to... Uh, Ukraine, why don't you send some down here to North Carolina, okay? Uh, because it seems like every time Vladimir Zelensky rings you, he, you know, you're very responsive to him. But here in America, we're dealing with some economic challenges and uh, you just keep sending money to him. And that's part of the economic problem because the United States keeps printing up money to send over there. And we got a $34 trillion debt and rising. So this was another example of one of those uh attempts at political pandering that really just came off as so out of touch and uh, proved that not just Joe Biden, but his White House does not have an understanding of this economy, okay? So I'm glad to see that he's losing black support. And the reason for that is because I don't care if you vote for Trump, I don't care if you vote for JFK Jr., uh, RFK Jr., uh, any of the other candidates or just say, I'm not going to cast a vote for president. I'm going to write my own name in. I don't care if you do any of those things, but respond to what is going on with regard to the economy. Your vote is currency. Don't just keep giving it to these people. You see what he thinks about black people as he's sitting down there, as he's, you know, uh, running around talking about, they're going to put y'all back in chains. What? the hell are you talking about, man? Yeah, they might try if you take away our Second Amendment rights, which you've been trying to do forever. But let's talk about the economy and getting that back on track. Look, uh, YouTube, they believe that this video right here is going to be the one that you want to watch next. So check it out, guys. I'll talk to you soon.